Oh, baby. Oh, no. Hey, D oh, Booker's no, about no. to hit the Jimmy Butler's defense. D Booker's about to hit the Jimmy Butler's defense. D Booker. You know, that's just 2K. <laughs> Let's go. One sec, Let's dog. Go. I got a notification from Woj. Woj what? And it's for the Lakers. I got it. Woj Bob. For the Lakers. Oh. We just signed Yee, bro. Yee. Yeah, yeah. Guess how much? Minimum, of course. That's Eight good. million. Man, what the? What the heck? We're gonna start out the video talking about the pros. It's gonna be straight facts, so we'll leave, kick it off. All right, so fact pro number one. Mm. Shooting. This dude is a great shooter, man. 37% three-point shooting for his career, right? 0. 0.600 uh, true shooting percentage for the last three seasons. Th those are great numbers, man. And also, mm. also, he's known as a Steph Curry in China. He's the second best shooter in China. That's a big deal. All right, Sammy, so pro number two. Size and rim protection. Mm. Huge deal. Something that comes rare in the NBA. Right. Especially with shooting, like you said. Yeah. So let's get right into it. He's a 3.0 block percentage. So good, in fact, that if he was in the NBA, he would be in the top 20. That's pretty phenomenal. Second point, he has a 7 foot 4 inch wingspan, which will help with the passing lanes. He can get those interceptions. It'll be beautiful. He really doesn't have to do much. And lastly, to be 7 feet, especially with the body type he has, it's going to be very useful when it comes on the defensive end. Some nights when Mozgov is in there, or Zubots, he'll be able to step in and take that role perfectly. Right. So, pro number three, athleticism. Uh, surprisingly, he's actually one of the m much more athletic big men uh, that the NBA has seen in recent time. Uh, the reason why he was drafted so high was because of his athleticism. He's a very explosive leaper. Um, he's great for putbacks and lobs, uh, kind of DeAndre S. And on top of that, he's a very, very powerful finisher. It's, it's shocking to see that because you kind of expect Chinese people to be a little weaker, but he's very strong at finishing. So that's a big, that's a big pro. Lastly, this pro is very important. Ever since Kobe has departed the Lakers, can't help but to think how the Chinese market is going to react. Well, now that we got Yi, he can kind of fill that void. Not mm -hmm. completely, but he can. Mm -hmm. You see, the Lakers is second to the Knicks, the biggest organization, makes a lot of money, especially worldwide. So with Yi being one of the biggest Chinese basketball players back in China, all right, this is a big deal for the Lakers, especially considering that we just told you he was the second best shooter. So he's coming to the Lakers, people are gonna wanna watch that. It's all good business. Right, and just to quickly add, Jeremy Lin, he was so popular, especially here in the Los Angeles And even, even his game wasn't that great, but still, man. Jersey sold. That's Jersey what's sold. most important. And, and lastly, he, he is, is a poor man's Christoph Porzingis. <laughs> Why'd we do that? I don't know. I don't know. That was dumb. On to the cons. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so on to the cons. Of course, every player is derailed by this, but there's some players that it affects more. Tell them about it. Ah, injuries, man. Mm. He's had some pretty, pretty gruesome injuries, and not the injuries that uh, don't affect athleticism, the injuries that do. Yeah. Uh, he had really, really bad injuries that have kind of reduced his athleticism. He's still pretty athletic, Yeah. but he's not the person he was drafted out to be, you know? Mm -hmm. So that sucks, that's a kind of con, but it's not too bad of a con. So we'll see how that plays out. So Team USA just played China recently, and they did a pretty damn good job. Yi, he did a good job as well, but he got bodied down in the post. Rebounding seems something that's going to be hard for him. You know, he's a bit frail, and he can put on some weight. So this is a pretty big con that um, is actually one of the reasons why he didn't pan out in the NBA, is mentality. Mm. He never, he was so athletically and physically gifted, mm. he never had the mentality that that mama mentality mm. to improve his game. Where you have to work for it. Right. So, I mean, let's hope that after, you know, going through China and his being a second shot in the NBA, that he'll have more of a, a redeemed, strong work ethic. But that currently is a big question mark. So that is why it's a big call. And lastly, that transitions perfectly into the NBA adjustment. Now, he's been playing in China for a couple years now. So he needs to come back here, get grips with how the league works. You know, the competition is just much better here when you compare it to China, obviously. So he has to, you know, go play some games, get back in the works, kind of like a rookie. So. Right, so he's going to be a little rusty at first, yeah, right? Definitely. He's going to get pushed around, maybe have like a two and two game. But it's going to take a bit quicker for him than a rookie to get back his game. Right. He was decent when he was in the NBA. Right. 
Okay, so we just gave you the pros and the cons, but we didn't really give you our opinions on that. Now is the time. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Waldo, man, hit him with it. Alright, so my personal take mm. is I feel it's a very good signing for us. Stretch fours, stretch fives are always important in the league. Especially the way the league is going these days. You need shooters. Especially, especially Luke Walton's system, you need to throw as many shooters around your point guard as possible. And, I mean, it's cool. He could be a, literally a spot-up shooter, and that's good enough for us. To the bare minimum. You know, he could play a Harrison Barnes role. He could play um, a Draymond role. It could be a lot of roles that he can play. So I think it's an upside move. It's not like we were signing much. It's not like we were doing much anyways. I don't think we're going to be making the playoffs, and if we do, we're going to be a very, very low seat. So, I mean, I think it's a high upside move. I mean, you never know. He might have gone to China and really changed his uh, viewpoint on the game, you know? So, it might really help him out. He might have a, still a lot of upside. I think it's a great move. So, Yi, it's really important to note it's a one-year contract. There's no risk with it. So, I'm really happy about the signing. In today's NBA, the three-point shot is a mandatory skill. Especially if you're a big man, really nice. It's a really good addition. And it's actually rare. I mean, Al Horford, Carl Anthony Towns, and maybe DeMarcus Cousins, those guys can shoot threes and they're really good. Obviously, Yi is nowhere near them, but he can be that spot of shooter that, for example, D'Angelo Russell might need or Brandon Ingram when they're setting up plays. Also, another cool thing is, as I just mentioned, all these players, it's just a bunch of assets for Luke Walton. Luke Walton's gonna use everybody on this roster to their perfect role. And I think Yi is a perfect role player. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna come in here being the starting center. We don't need him for that. We paid Mozgov the big bucks for that. Right. Yi's just gonna come in, be a serviceable player off the bench, especially because there will be injuries. I have a prediction Mozgov will get injured. <laughs> and if he does, Yi can step up and it'll be really good. And it'll tie back to his pros with the marketing and everything we mentioned. Right. So overall, good signing. Very surprising, but good signing. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Was signing Yi a good thing for the Lakers? Did we make a bad move? Can this potentially alter our future? Comment down below. Yeah, please let us know. Uh, personally, we feel like it's a good move, but we always love to hear different opinions, right? Always. There's always stuff we learn. Big people time. always show us stuff we learn. So, I mean, let us know what you guys think. We've seen a lot of people hate on it. Yeah. So, the people who don't like it, please let us know. We were about right? to not make this video, but we figured, you know what? We have to. Some yeah. people are just totally confused about the situation. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Comment down below any recommendations as well for videos to make. Mm -hmm. As right now, it's kind of a drought. Not yeah, much to talk yeah, about. Yeah, and also just please subscribe with This Is How We Keep Rolling. It's right here once again. Right here. Right here. Right here. So subscribe, like the video, share the video, comment. And as always, just follow us on all the handles. You got Facebook, you got Twitter, you got Snapchat, you got Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And lastly, subscribe. It's the most important thing. Love you guys. Make your boy Ace. Signing out. Till next time. Like your boy Waldo. Peace. Peace.